Okay, this is our first fencing lesson. And since we have so many new people that are gonna be starting, I thought we would just start from the very beginning. But I wanna do this one warning ahead of time, this one you know, preface to the entire series that we're about to do. And that is that this is not gonna be like your high tech Russian fencing expert. Like if your most knowledgeable Russian fencing coach is like the Lord of the Rings, I'm like, the ADD Twilight version, you know, like angsty and glittery and for short attention spans. Okay, so that's what's happening here. There are three weapons in fencing, all right? The coolest one, the one, the only one that really matters. I'm not gonna really take any discussion on that. That's just my opinion and obviously right. This is the foil. It's a stabby weapon. Um, we're gonna talk more about this, but basically there are rules in foil. There are rules of right of way. Not everybody gets the point. Only the smart person gets the point, okay? Next, the slightly less cool, but still pretty cool, saber. This is cool because you can hit the other person. You can just smack them. Like if you're having a really bad day, it's better to saber than it is to foil. Um, it, it's way fun and super easy for beginners to start with. So I really like that. Some of you have sabers. Okay, saber eyes right away too. We'll talk about it later, okay? And then, oh, wait, let me use this one. And then this is the epee. Basically, this is like street fencing, no rules. Whoever hits first gets the point. If you hit at the same time, you're both dead. You both get a point. Now you're starting to see why I think it's not, not foil. That's all I'm gonna say about that. It's just not foil. This is a French grip. So it's straight. When we first start fencing, a lot of times we use a French grip. It's a little bit easier to hold. I'm gonna show you how to hold it in just a second. This is a pistol grip. If you are trying to make the Olympic team, you're probably using this. If you're fencing nationally, you're probably using this. Probably, that doesn't mean everybody does, but most people do. Okay, <clears throat> but I'm gonna show you how to hold both, all right? Oh, and I forgot to say, Epe doesn't have right of way. Did I say that? I think I said it, okay, good. All right, so this is how we hold them. If you have a foil, it's gonna be the same, okay? So most of you don't have this groove. This is an electric groove, okay? So if those of you who at, who at home, if you have just a weapon that you've taken home, look at that weapon and see which way it curves. There's gonna be a slight curve. You want that curve to go down, okay? Because when you hit, you want this to happen. You wanna make a hill. You don't wanna make a hole. Okay, make a hill, not a hole. So when you hit, you want this bend to happen. So when you're holding it, you want it to slope down like that. Now that you know which way it should be sloping, put your, take your thumb like this, put it on the back, right at the top of the grip next to the bell guard. Take your other four fingers and just wrap them around so that your index finger is right on the other side of where your thumb is. Basically, you wanna be able to do this if you need to, you wanna be able to move it around in your hand. You don't wanna, you, you don't wanna flex your hand like that, like, a, like clubbing people. You really wanna be able to use your fingers. Think about how you hold a Wii, for those of you who have ever held a Wii, because I guess that was a flash in the pan and no one has one anymore. But anyways, think about how you hold a Wii and how you would hold it nice and loose like that so you can move that laser around. That's the same kind of way that you wanna hold your weapon. Um, and then <clears throat> the last two things are how to hold your, uh, your pistol grip, okay? Same idea, take your thumb, put it right there on the back, take your index finger, put it on the other side so that you're pinching the grip, take your other four fingers or your other three fingers and wrap them around like that. So, so hopefully you can see that. You, that's why we call it a pistol grip. We're pretty much holding it like the gun, okay? And the reason we have these is so that it's harder to disarm you. Okay, last, how to hold your saber. Same start, see? Same idea. The only thing you wanna be able to do is make sure that as you're cutting with your saber, as you're hitting, you want these fingers here to be able to pull that grip towards the palm of your hand. So when you're starting to learn how to use your saber, Make sure you have that movement in your hand. Okay, that's just our very basic beginning first video. We're gonna to try to keep them short from here on out. Don't forget, 
Every lesson I give you is basics, short attention span, general idea. It's up to you to send me questions, put comments so that I know what to answer.